In this video, we're going to take a look at the break keyword. Let's create a loop to start with. So I'm going to say for i in range, maybe five. And then here we're going to print something. Let's print loop number and cast that to a string and use i. So let's in fact say here, starting loop number, whatever it is. And then we'll also have ending loop number, whatever it is. Now, if I just run this as it is, of course we get just a load of print statements executing basically, starting loop number zero, ending loop number zero, and then one, two, three, all the way through to four. Remember this specifies the end of the range and the end is not included in the range. Now, supposing every time we go around the loop here, so all the code that I'm writing here is indented because it's part of this loop code block. Supposing we get some feedback from the user, let's say stop equals, so that's just a variable that I'm creating, stop equals input, stop the loop, brackets yes or no, question mark. So every time we go around the loop now, we're going to ask the user if we should stop the loop. And the idea is that they should be able to enter Y if they want to stop the loop and N if they don't. And we're going to store whatever they type in this variable stop. Let's try it just to see what it does at the moment. So it asks me if I want to stop the loop after printing starting loop number zero. And it doesn't matter what I type here. Whatever I type, it's just then going to carry on looping again. So after I type something or just hit return for that matter, it's going to say ending loop number, whatever it is. And then it goes to the next iteration of the loop, starting loop number one here. And then it asks me again, do I want to stop it or not? And I can just hit return and go all the way through all the loops until they finally finish. Now, supposing I actually want to make this work. So if the user types Y, the loop should actually stop. How should I do that? Well, I'm probably going to need some kind of if statement because I need to check if something's true or not. I need to check if they've entered Y in this case. So within the loop code block, we can have an if statement. Notice this is indented like everything else here. So if stop, that's the text that the user has entered, equals y colon. And now how do we stop the loop? Well, the answer is a good way to do it is we can use the break keyword. So this is a keyword that's found in most programming languages, I think. And it's used in exactly the same way in all the ones that I've seen. Sometimes it might be called something else, but I can't actually think of an example of that. Probably it's always called break actually. And what it does is it terminates the loop immediately. So it will cause the looping to stop. And whatever's after that in the loop code block won't be executed. And actually to make this a bit clearer at the bottom here, let's print program finished. So this isn't indented, so it isn't part of the code that's going to actually be looped. Okay, now let's try this. Stop the loop. If I just type N, or if I just hit return or type anything apart from Y, it carries on looping. But if I type Y, we go straight to program finished. And notice that after I typed Y, so this was then true and this executed, we didn't execute this. This whole thing is the code block that we're actually looping. We're actually making that run repeatedly. But as soon as we hit break, it goes straight out of this whole code block and executes anything after that in the program. Break here is a keyword in the Python language and it is important and very useful. So I would recommend typing this out for yourself. I'm going to give you an exercise later on. But for the moment, try out the break keyword yourself with your own piece of code using a loop. Of course, if I didn't have this if here, 
And if I just put the break right here instead, then we would only get one loop actually executing. I can probably show you that if I just comment out if. So if I put a hash sign there, this just becomes a comment. And now I've got a sort of squiggly red error because the indentation is wrong. So I just need to unindent break. And if I just run this, it doesn't matter what I type now, that's just gonna finish the loop straight away. But that isn't much use. It's much more useful to only execute break under certain conditions to stop the loop. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and machine learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.